This pandemic has been so incredibly difficult for so many people. A world without restaurants is not a world that I want to be a part of. You know, I'm hoping that we figure out a way to make sure that we don't change so much so that five years from now, the city looks like a totally different place and it loses what we love about it. This is the greatest city in the world. I think that we have the best possible combination of everything that you could ask for. Within the cultural mosaic, everybody's able to retain who they are, you know, before they came to Canada or before their parents came to Canada. And it's really about the beauty of our differences. And I think that's what makes this an amazing place to be. My name is Savannah Ray, and I'm gonna be singing my latest. Uh, <laughs> thank y'all. I'm gonna be singing my latest single, homies, accompanied by my dude JC. I don't need your drama. Your Netflix is still live. So many restaurants we've had here over the years, but Thai has always been dope because it's always combined everything that I love about the city. The first time that I went there, and you walk in, and I'm, and I'm like, is that hip hop? And I was like, yo, this is my type of spot. And the ambiance is always super inviting. You know, something that makes me feel like I'm right at home. Since I first been there, you know, I've taken a lot of people, because that's my go-to spot. If you get there after five, you know that there's gonna be a line up out the door, but it's just a testament, you know what I mean, to how good they are and how good the food is, so. Pie is super dope. Thank you. I met my wife, Nui, in Thailand in a small town called Pai, and I was just backpacking. I wanted to do the tourist thing, so I booked an elephant ride and ended up on the same elephant together, and that's where we met. She was terrified, you know, especially when we started going downhill. So, you know, I thought I'd just be polite and eventually I just kind of put my arms out there so she can hold and feel safe. We created a friendship after her and then we fell in love, got married, and I finally brought her to Toronto in 2006. And then we started our life here. Growing up, I never think I am going to be a owner or restaurateur Cooking is an art for me, and even though I wasn't trained as a chef, but I've been trained all my life in the kitchen with my mom, and it in me since I was young. Pai is a very special place to us. It was both of our favorite places in Thailand, but we always talked about how much we miss Pai, and we are thinking Pai would be the perfect place to, to bring to Toronto. So if we can't just always go there, then we can bring it here for ourselves and to share it with you know, the people in the city. I'm very, very happy and very proud that during this time, we still can provide the food to the table at the home when the order I will take out. It means so much to me because food is a vehicle that to have a, a great times together. You know, we're suffering in our own right. And you know, like I feel for everybody, especially the ones that had to close their doors, like the amount of passion you have to put into a place just to finally get something up and then to have it taken away is, uh, like, a, I don't know. It's, 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 really, it's really hard. You know, we need to keep all these places around because when this is done and it will be done, we will band together and we'll get over it. You know, we want to be able to come back out and have these places to go to. You know, Pai, it's um, our life and our family, so I don't um, have much family in Toronto. So Pai is a, a place where I create my family, my friends, and thinking about I have to lose off that. Um, no words can describe for that. Yeah, it's, it's my life.
We all need to be lifted up at these times. We all need for everybody to rally together and support each other in different ways. This place has always been a home, you know, for me and my musician friends. And I wanted to bring two worlds together, you know, really try and put on a show for everybody that's been putting on a show for us. And I definitely wanted for them to like, you know, be able to take some time out and be able to, you know, enjoy some dope music, you know? So I brought the new generation, some of the new dope artists that we have that are coming out from the city. It's the very least that we can do. It's gotta be like super tough for them, not just physically, but also mentally. The amount of work that these guys put in 24 seven, I can only imagine how much harder they've had to work to stay afloat. A lot of who we are just as a society is based, you know, with the ability to share a meal. You know, we can't look over, um, you know, the restaurants and the people that keep us alive because we mend relationships here. We start relationships here. You know, some people propose, people come here after a long day of work and they want to just unwind after the show, after the ball game, before, like, you know, there's so many experiences that we have in life that are tied to restaurants like this, like pie, you know, and I think it's, it's super dope and something that we need to continually do throughout the pandemic in whatever way that we can. Born alone, die alone, but I'm never on my own. No watch, no face, stay true is what I was shown. I'm a product of OGs and social workers. Three years of university in Licksburg. Clap your hands, clap your hands, your hands, and clap.